Hello everybody, happy Monday, I hope you're well, and this week we have two special football shirt openings. The reason why they are special, it's simply because they are new countries to the collection, which means when you add them two to it, the total now is 101, which means we are over 100 countries. I think it's quite a nice little milestone to achieve, certainly seven and a half years, coming up eight years, it's taken me that long to get 100 countries. And guess what? We're not even halfway there because there's about 211, so we have a long way to go. But we have just the one today. We shall see what is inside. I'm very, very excited to show you because it's a country that I don't think I've ever seen any shirt for sale apart from the one that is in here. Or should be, I hope, it's in here. So let's get it opened up and we'll see what it looks like. As always, I made this purchase a wee back. Not quite as far back as some others, but we shall see. Anyway, we have... Ian Wright. Guess what? That means it's come from Classic Football Shirts. I think I have him. And that just proves that it's from Classic Football Shirts. But who is the club? It's there. Get rid of that. There we go. Definitely looks like the shirt that I made the purchase of. Really, really nice. Comes in a nice little Ziploc bag. So we'll open this up. Get rid of that. Okay then, so let's present you with the rear of the shirt. And yes, it does actually tell you the club name itself. Well done to those of you who are familiar with this club because I suspect unless you've seen this shirt for sale on Classic Football Shirts, you will have never seen it before. And let's look at the back of the shirt. Ah, oh, sorry, say the front of the shirt. And there we go. That's pretty cool. I love the color combination. You have this purple and it's really difficult. It's it's not gold, it's not green, it's more, I don't know, not really quite yellow, sort of in between that sort of color scheme. And you've got the sort of different shades of the purple, I suppose, as well. But that's really cool. That's a really, really nice one. It feels very good quality as well. So anyway, that is the shirt. I shall um, dress the mannequin as always. I will do some good research on this, so I'll try my best, because it's it's really, really obscure, this club. Not necessarily just because of the country it's from, but because of the level uh, that it plays at as well. So yeah, I shall be back. Okay then, there is a shirt, but who is the club? Of course, it's Mehret FC. It's their home shirt from 2020-2021. So Classic Football Shirts has this, I believe, for sale just saying 2021, but having gone through this club's Facebook page, they seem to start advertising it towards the end of 2019, and they definitely played it based on images in 2020 and 2021. So I'm just gonna simply say it's used for those seasons. It's kind of difficult sometimes to know in particular countries how their leagues run, whether they go across years, single years, it's very difficult. So like I said, I did make the purchase from Classic Football Shirts. This one cost me £31.49 after discount, so it retails at £35. Right now, they have still all the sizes available, so if you are looking to buy a shirt from this country, then they have all the options. But which country is it? Well, of course, it's Ethiopia, Ethiopian football team. Um, how random is that? Really, really cool. It's really a country that I've not even thought about buying for. Uh, but this is where sort of places like classic football shirts really shine. Every now and then they can find some and you go, okay then, I'll pick up one of those. Now you should be able to sort of maybe get that from the fact that on the sleeves it has the star here, which of course is the one that's present on the Ethiopian flag there. So I like that, that little sort of homage to the country itself. It's just a nice design. So they are based in Ethiopia, like I mentioned, and they play in the capital city of Addis Ababa. Now they don't play in the top division, they play in sort of um, sort of lower league level. I think they play in the, what was it called? The Addis Ababa Football Federation. And their aim is to sort of rise through ranks and play in the top division. Um, so Mehret apparently translates to Mercy, and I believe they were founded in 2018, or at least that's the first sort of post on their Facebook page. I don't believe there's anything sort of before that and it kind of makes sense because they do look relatively recent finding. However, all activities on their social medias, whether it be Instagram, uh, Facebook, probably even their website, ceased in September 2021. There's been nothing since then and we're coming up to almost a year following that day. To me, does that mean the club no longer exists? I have no idea. It's very difficult. Um, you thought if they were still playing that they would still um, sort of post things. I don't know if the league has stopped in, in, in Addis Ababa, who, who knows? But um, it's, it's just, I thought I'm quite curious to know 
Um, they do have um, an online store on their website, which has this shirt, the away shirt, and some cool other shirts. I'm not sure which, which ones they would have been. I don't know if the club obviously exists anymore, if you can buy directly from them. Um, but um, it's an option, I suppose, if you don't want to use classic football shirts. So um, the thing that you can really only talk about on this one, probably, is the manufacturer then. So the manufacturer is Icarus football and i've seen a few of their shirts floating around you probably recognize their crest and for a long time i wasn't certain if there were going to be tags attached and i'm sure that i either spoke with them directly or i spoke with somebody and they said they don't have them and i was like that's a shame because they that's so what they do they, they they were founded in 2017 so they're a relatively recent addition to the sort of sports manufacturing world and their approach is they don't do templates Quite clearly here they've got this interesting design for this lower league ethiopian team and they're anti just pumping out the same design and if you look at their catalog online you can clearly see that approach and that styling and it's really really nice classic football shirts have just sort of got a bit of a drop of their stuff so they've got quite a lot of different uh, countries and and sort of um, and places that they have shirts for some of them had sponsors some of them are national teams so i've only been able to get this one here that really sort of fits the bill for my collection uh, but I'm going to definitely be keeping an eye on them going forwards because I think if they are sort of finding their ways into these sort of more obscure and unique countries, it's a way to sort of add them to my collection. Um, they also do like weird sort of sort of concept kits of places like Mesopotamia and old style world things, which I must admit they do look pretty nice. So if you're interested in just sort of having a shirt just for the sake of it looking good, probably scroll through their sort of website there. But that's kind of it. I have no idea about the club. The crest is interesting. Um, it has like a tree on there. I presume that's maybe the club name. Kind of makes sense, doesn't it, really? Uh, but it's just a simple edition. It's just one because it's an Ethiopian one I had to add to the collection. But yeah, if you're interested in buying uh, one from this country, Clouds Football shirts have them for sale. Um, just type in Meheret or uh, Icarus. You'll probably get the, the result just like that. But uh, I'm pleased. It's nice. It's, it's cool. And uh, yeah. This means after this shirt, I am on 100 countries. So that's a nice little milestone to achieve. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great weekend ahead. A uh, great weekend, should, should I say. It's very, very warm sitting here in the UK right now. I am filming this the Sunday before the sort of super high created temperatures that we're going to be receiving at the beginning of the week. Maybe I should break out my authentic sort of uh, vapor knit shirts to wick away that sweat as they always advertise that they should be able to do. Yeah, but anyway, thank you guys for watching my videos, as always, and I'll see you the next time. Goodbye.